<laughs> Will you welcome old Big Mouth himself? <laughs> Lovely. A couple of rest in here. <laughs> I wish you could hear this. It's going to be funny. <laughs> oh, like a trainee corpse. How are you? Hi, Pi. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Excellent. Let's hope it stays see. that way. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of yours. Definitely a fan of yours. Hello, love. Weren't you in that film, Psycho, sat in a rocket chair? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are you doing with Nora Bucky stocking, though? <laughs> Lovely to have you on, Ben. I know. <laughs> I know, really, darling. I you know. know long since you were on telly. Do you know, what was the last thing I saw you in? Oh, was it World in Action? World in Action. <laughs> Entertaining all the top brass in the police, enjoying the show. <laughs> and uh, it was a wonderful night. We raised £50,000 for charity. No, that's very good. And, uh, and uh, it's about a great atmosphere, is not it? Great atmosphere. They're a great crowd, What's aren't? the name of the next series, too, for you in the day? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I no. don't believe it. Always one fruit. <laughs> Always one fruit out. How's your ambitious club doing? Marvellous, marvellous. Packed out every night. We have we have loads of money for charity there too as well. Forty years we've been open this year. Same pianist. You think she's got the job now? <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know something, Bernard? I came to your club once, the embassy. Did you? And you know, I laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. Yeah. It was the night it burnt down, you know, the fire. <laughs> that was the best night I liked, you know. Oh, it was a wonderful night. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed that immensely. <laughs> Did you really? Lost a solid gold Amiga watch, 6,000 pounds of it. Did you? Rummaging all night with the firemen. They said, I don't think you, we're going to find this watch, but I thought, I'm bleeding sure you're not. <laughs> oh, I it was a lovely fire. It was a lovely fire. <laughs> That's a great I'll tell fire. you how to start a good fire. Get a, a, a lively rat. Yeah. And dip a, a rag in a cloth in petrol and tie it to its tail. <laughs> Light it and shove it through the door. And you've got about 16 fires going in about two minutes. <laughs> the rat gets cremated and you don't know how it started. <laughs> now the Irish come lower down than me. They tried it with a toy toys and... <laughs> on it, boots. Only burn the front door down. <laughs> 60, 68 quid, 68 quid for half a door, that's all I got. <laughs> £170,000, mate. Really? It was the best night. I'm glad you laughed, because I laughed. <laughs> we now, all 60 laughed. suits I lost in that fight. Did you? 60 suits. Colonel Gaddafi for me, said, sorry, burn the wrong embassy. <laughs> You know, I'll tell you something now. This 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 room has happy memories for me. We did the wheel tappers from here, and the comedians from here, and Mr. Nice Guy at my own show, with the uh, the three degrees and uh, Akabilk and Sid Lawrence Orchestra, and that was 1970. Happy days, I tell you, wonderful days. Oh, and all I, all I said was bollocks and never seen the place again. <laughs> You could say it today without being murdered. You couldn't say anything like that in them days, you know. Nobody had bollocks. What do you think? Are you all right, girls? Was it cold in the ground this morning? <laughs> say hello to Roy, obviously, when you get back to the house. I like your advert, the old PG chips, say eh? hello. Oh, nice, that. Putting all them monkeys out of work. You see, the thing is, if they, if 
said I wanted a baboon. Oh, it's a monkey. That's you. Remember, are you there? Are you there? The monkey's on PG tips. Now, think about something. Here. Think about it. Hit me with your best punch here. Hit me with your best shot. Yeah. It's bullets, if you like. Richard. Just, <laughs> just bullets, if you like. Anything at all. <laughs> Love your show. Love your show. Think it's mine. <laughs> All the way from London, but it. <laughs> Only little bit of me. It's dead easy for me. <laughs> <laughs> Anything we ask you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Invite me any time. Invite me any time. You know, you're Irish and all that. You, when you leave, we all leave. Don't leave no carry bag. Don't leave no carry bag under the table, you know. You see, the thing about you, Ben. Gotta be ben, very careful, aren't you? The thing about you, Ben. The thing about you, Ben, is just what we all think. He's a very good comedian, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, he's no doubt about that. As he wouldn't. <laughs> he, would, he wouldn't pay me the money they do. And for fifty years I've been in the business. In your own club, aren't you? Fifty you years. Yourself? No, Las Vegas, Welcome Man performances, London Palladium, nineteen seventy-two, with all the comics. But the thing about you is, Bernard, there's no getting away from it. You're a very good comedian, but... Nice, nice you, of you say that. You are racist, aren't you, Bernard? Yes. <laughs> See, some people I like, some people I don't. And then I like, I like. And then I don't like, I don't like. But you upset people, Bernard, yes. with your comedy. Yes. Well, what do you think of that? They don't upset me, it upsets them. <laughs> You feel bad that you upset people. Oh no, 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 no. But the thing is, there's worse things to get upset about. What, like what? A smack in the mouth. <laughs> but you see, Bernard, you know, I mean, we all think you're great. So why do you bother doing this racist stuff? It's, you know, fame, fortune. Hands up in this audience. Who'd like Bernard more if he wasn't racist? Me. Let me just see. There you now are. that's the majority. You see, Bernard, we'd like you more if you weren't racist. What do you think about that? Well, I'm not really racist. I tell jokes about everything. People get, they all get all upset about it all. See, these people think they're English because you're born here. That means if a dog's born in a stable, it's a horse. <laughs> Bernard, you do tell jokes about about different races. Oh, about do, of course races. I do. Scotch, Irish, uh, English fellow went to Scotland and he bought a house right in the middle of the islands of Scotland. First night there, knock on the door, big islander, six foot six. He said, I've come to invite you to a Cayley. He said, what's a Cayley? He said, there'll be plenty of eating, plenty of drinking, a wee bit of dancing, and a lot of love making. Oh, he said, I've been to a Cayley before, how do, I, how do I dress? He says, come here, he says, there'll just be the two of us. <laughs> You... Ah, okay, well, Bernard... You nearly smiled then, you know. <laughs> you're smiling. Why, I don't know why you're being I don't quite... Know I don't know why you're being quite so nasty to me. I mean, what have I said so far? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't said anything. Well, here you are, you're making... You're making... Uh, you're making comments all, about... The, wait a minute, let me finish. When you came on... When you came on... When you came on, you said... Don't Bernard do. she says a local comedian. Las Vegas, I've worked. How many Royal Command oh, performances have you done? You can't take that. How many Royal you Command? Can't take that. How many Royal Command performances have you done? I've turned them down. Let me. Never turned them down. Never turned them down. You know. You you know. You know. You know. You know. You know. You know. You You know. You know. You know. You You know. You You know. You know. You You <laughs> oh, the man for Bournemouthy. Multi-millionaire. I'll show you a tenner for every nicker you've got. I'm sure. Okay. I'm sure That's you can. money. Manchester <laughs> lad. So paid. What? what? Don't talk with a Fleming man, Mel. Where could I I'm speak? a Lancaster lad. Uh, no, 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 no. Now you can interrupt. speak if you Let like. Let me interrupt. Let me interrupt. Now Let you me. can speak if you like. Bernard Manning has spoken.
Let me through, let me through. Let's change the subject. Let's change. What would you like to ask Liz? What would you like to ask Bernard? Well, Bernard, you've never oh, gone well, Excuse my butt, darling. Better than his front. <laughs> I don't think you've ever particularly gone down in Wigan, have you? Gone down in Wigan? Yeah. I mean, you've been I Wigan mean, once or twice, but you've never gone down, have you? You, you must be joking. No. Oh, you must be joking. You I've you always, always gone down in Wigan. Ah, you know, in the rugby clubs and all sorts. And Wigan people, we, Wigan people come to my club. You're talking to your heart. No, I'm not. Oh. There'll be eight of old babies with handbags in the car park when you leave. <laughs> I've introduced in Wigan, myself I've all, personally. I've, I go to Wigan many, many times. I've gone all over the country, all over the world. <laughs> Never died yet. I'm not a comic that dies. I'm a funny no, man. I know I... my business. I know he knows his job at acting. Never. He's a great he's actor. Not me a chance. Great comical actor. I you introduce you personally and myself at Abram Labour Club. Never and I'm going way back. Oh, you must be. He must be. Yes. <laughs> You must be, but I don't go back that way. Yeah, well... <laughs> You're soaking now, you see. He's <laughs> not soaking, no. He's soaking. Oh, oh, yeah. no. I don't want it. Sid, what would you like to say? 61, what does it look like? 61. Then you started again, for Christ's <laughs> sake. Victor? Yes? Come on, Mr. Oh, yeah. man, either. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I just don't know why you were getting at me. I mean, the fact that I said... Well, the fact... Oh, wait a minute! You're a good actor, you're a good actor, you're on too long. Worried about your knees. Look at Richard. You don't look out of place there. <laughs> Believe me. I, I'm very glad about that. Oh, unbelievable. <laughs> He's got one foot in the grave there, all right. Have you seen her? <laughs> How long more do you think you're going to keep going for, Bernard? I'll go to like. Well, I'll do a Tommy Cooper, most probably. You think? That's why you've got a packed house. You think it's tonight? <laughs> I was frightened. Happy? About a fortnight ago, I had a bit of a do, pains in my chest, and they rushed me into uh, <laughs> come to. Uh, Richard! Richard! I wouldn't say that! Hurry up, the sun's going up. <laughs> Richard, do you want to come back to the sofa? Come and sit with us, Richard. He knows I'm a fan. He knows I'm a fan. We're having some fun tonight, aren't we? <laughs> now, Bernard, what I want to ask you is this. Yeah. yeah, the fact that I said Bernard, who is a compliment. Is it? Of course. Well, because they all know you're coming yeah. on. Do they? So the fact that I said Bernard, who, I mean, I don't laugh a lot, but it is quite a compliment. It? It's not meant to be in any way derogatory at all. Yeah. 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 You've let me well, down, well, now. I'm well, you won't go out on air, you know that, don't you? No, of course. <laughs> I'll still be a racist. You never know. Old. Well, oh, I don't like racist very won't. much. And I agree with Dorothy that well, you know, why I think don't you're a hugely talented comedian. He is, and he's yes. got great... Why don't you promise tonight that you'll never tell another racist joke? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Promise yeah. 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 I couldn't do that. Yeah. Why not? Because that's letting them off the hook. I tell, great, I tell gags about everybody and everything. Then and why, shouldn't, why should you tell me? I can, can't tell gags about other racists. Bennett, who do you vote for now Hitler's dead? 
Yeah, we played roll out the barrel when you came on. We're scraping the barrel with you on. <laughs> Good comedian, it's costing, Bernard. You, it's costing you a lot of money to scrape that battle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you tell the truth. You don't know how much Richard's I bet I'm on more than him. <laughs> I bet I'm on more than him. <laughs> I believe, bet you believe not. Believe me. Uh, and I, you won't believe it. Because <laughs> I don't work for nothing, my friend. You're a workaholic, uh, aren't you? I am a workaholic, and I've got plenty of money. Have you? Yep, loads of it. Really? Yeah. More than you. More what? than you, your own show. What do you, what do you spend? Businesses everywhere. What do you spend? Chairs down, in bird's eye, frozen foods, ICL, well, Sainsbury's. You spend it British all on telecom, food. British <laughs> telecom. Chairs everywhere. When are you, get, when are you going to stop? Never. Never. But why don't Keep you on going. Why don't you change your act? Oh, you couldn't change it. How would you change it? I'm looking for new material all the time. What? Irish fella sat in a pub, his mobile phone rang, he said, how do you know I was here? <laughs> you know, we'd love that gag. You know, I'd love that gag. Hugh Scully for the Antiques Road Show. He'd love that gag, you just told. There you go, you go again. Oh, I can, buy, best, and I can buy and sell you, Scully. Could you? They're all waiting for me to die, see what I leave. <laughs> that, it's not to see what you leave, Bernard. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's a, it's a, that's not why they're waiting. Yeah, it's the peace on earth. This poor bugger will be working when he's under and pressed it. Morris, what would you like to ask? Well, Bernard probably won't remember this, but a long time ago now, about 30 years to the day, actually, I'd been drinking in Manchester with some of my mates, and the driver had been arrested by the police for drunken driving, and so we had to come our way back to Rochdale. <laughs> and we were coming our way, and who should stop with this great big long Jaguar? with Bernard in it. And Bernard didn't live in Rochdale, but he took us all the way back to our homes and back again. Sorry. What I want to ask Bernard is, A, does he still drive a Jaguar, and B, would he have picked me up if it had been black? <laughs> <laughs> no. I remember that, I, I remember that little uh, version, and you've gone smaller. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't swallow it. You, should, you should be in a garden with a fishing rod in your <laughs> I remember the incident. I remember the incident. I don't drive a Jaguar now. I drive a Rolls Silver Spirit. Whee! Yes. And if you'd have been black, you'd have still been stood there. <laughs> okay. But I thought you weren't a racist, Bernard. No, no. I just, I just so why would you have left a black man standing there? I just don't... I don't... I just... <laughs> I just don't pick black people up in Rolls Royces. Why? Because I just, I just don't. I'm entitled Why? to Why? I mean, because it's my prerogative. I can, I can pick who I like up. I can eat what I want, I can drink what I want, I can say what I want. It's a free country. But I think... That's why all our troops, our troops, died at Dunkirk, and Anzio, and Arnhem, and Monte Cassino. Lots of black people died in those battles. Not at battles. Dunkirk, my friend. No, no. We, no, the, the, no, com no. the Commonwealth Army. My Arm. brother was at all these places. The Commonwealth uh, Army no, was fought yeah. absolutely oh, through did, the war. Oh, they did, they did, they did. Indians, yes, Africans. They did. But not for us. They fought for themselves. You don't think oh. Hitler let them off the hook, would you, when they won the war? There's no package at Dunkirk. Right up. And Arnhem. Mary, what would you like to ask Bernard? Bernard, we've listened to you talking a bit about dying tonight. Yes. <laughs> Could I just be serious for a moment? Could I just be serious for a moment? When you do die, if you actually get to heaven, yes. how would you feel when God says, come over and sit with all these black people because I made them as well? What if God's black? <laughs> ah, that's what I think. <laughs> yes. What if he is? Will he get a council house? That's what I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what was that question again, my love? <laughs> How would you feel when God says, come and sit with all these black people? I made them, as well as making you, Bernard Manning. What will I say? I don't How think would God will admit to making him. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's the devil's own work. I say, JC, baby, do the trick with the loaves and fishes. That's all of a sandwich. And you think you'll laugh, because we didn't. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we thank Bernard Manning and Richard Wilson.
There's more from Mrs. Merton on Thursday at 10.30 with guests Nigel Kennedy and Barry McGuigan. And if you can't wait till Thursday, Barry's also on side with John and Bedell next. Always gone down in Wigan. Ah, you ah, 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 we be, we can people come to my club. You're talking to your heart. No, I'm not. Oh, 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 if you realise there'll be 80 old okay. babies with handbags in the car park when you leave. <laughs> I've introduced Wigan, in myself Wigan, I've all, personally. I've, I go to Wigan many, many times. I've gone all over the country, all over the world. Oh. Never died yet. I'm not a comic that dies. I'm a funny man. No, I'm I know my business. I know he knows his job at acting. Never. He's a great he's actor. Not me a chance. Great comical actor. I you know introduce I mean? you personally myself. A Abram Labour Club. Have and I'm it? going way back. Oh, you must be. In must be. Yeah. <laughs> you must be, but I don't go back that way. Yeah, well. <laughs> You're soaking now, you see. He's not soaking, no. He's soaking. No, he's I don't want it. Sid, what would you like to say? 61, no, is it not? Nothing. 61. Then you start it again, for Christ's <laughs> sake. Victor? Yes? Come on, Mr. Tomani. <laughs> 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 Well, I just don't know why you were getting at me. I mean, the fact that I said... Well, the fact... Oh, wait a minute! <laughs> yeah, the fact that... You're, the fact you're, good, that... you're a good actor, you're, you're a good actor, you're long too long. Are you all right? Are you all right now? I'm all right. I'm just worried about your knees. Look at Rick! Look at Rick! You don't look out of place there. Believe me. I, I'm very glad about that. Oh, unbelievable. He's got one foot in the grave there, all right. Have you seen her? How long more do you think you're going to keep going for, Bernard? I'll go to like, well, I'll do a Tommy Cooper, most probably. You think? That's why you've got a packed house, you think it's tonight. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing is tonight. I was frightened, really? about a fortnight ago, I had a bit of a do, pains in my chest, and they rushed me into, uh, <laughs> Trump <Trump's up. laughs> uh, Dorothy. <laughs> Richard. I wouldn't say that. Hurry up, the sun's going up. <laughs> <laughs> Richard, do you want to come back to the sofa? Come and sit with us, Richard. He knows I'm a fan. He knows I'm a fan. We're having some fun tonight, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> now, Bernard, what I want to ask you is this. Yeah, you know, the fact that I said Bernard, who is a compliment. Is it? Of course. Well, so because you're... But you see, Bernard, you know, I mean, we all think you're great, so why do you bother doing this racist stuff? It's, you know... Fame, fortune. Hands up in this audience. Who would like Bernard more if he wasn't racist? Me. Let me just see. There you now, are. that's the majority. You see, Bernard, we'd like you more if you weren't racist. What do you think about that? Well, I'm not really racist. I tell jokes about everything. People get, they all get all upset about it all. See, these people think they're English because you're born here. That means if a dog's born in a stable, it's a horse. <laughs> Bernard, you do tell jokes about, about different races. Oh, about do, of course race. I do. Scotch, Irish, uh, English fellow went to Scotland and he bought a house right in the middle of the islands of Scotland. First night there, knock on the door, big islander, six foot six. She said, I've come to invite you to a Kiwi. He said, what's a Kiwi? He said, there'll be plenty of eating, plenty of drinking, a wee bit of dancing, and a lot of love making. 
Oh, he said, I've been to a Kaylee before. How do I, how do I dress? He says, come as you are, he says. There'll just be the two of us. <laughs> now, you... Ah, okay, well, then... You nearly smiled then, you know. <laughs> You're smiling. Why, I don't know why you're being quite know. so. I don't know why you're being quite so nasty to me. I mean, what have I said so far? <laughs> I haven't said anything. Well, and here you are. You're making. You're making. Uh, you're making comments all, about that. Wait a minute. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me when you came on, finish. when you came on, you said Don't Bernadou. Bernadou. She says a local comedian. Las Vegas. I've worked. How many Royal Command oh, performances have you done? You can't take that. How many Royal you Command? Can't take that. How many Royal Command performances have you done? I've turned them down. Let me finish. <laughs> And I'll show you it. I'll show don't you. Talk at me, my God. Let me speak. 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 I don't want you to speak. I don't want you to speak. So I'm not going to speak at all. I started speaking. You had your chance in the first half. You didn't know. You didn't know who I was. Oh, for goodness sake. Now you know who I am. You can't speak a joke. Now you know who Bernard Manning is. Because I don't know who you are. Now you know. Las Vegas. I'm the man for Bernardy. Multi-millionaire. I'll show you a tenner for every nickel you've got. I'm sure. <laughs> okay. I'm sure you That's yeah. Bernard Manning. Manchester <laughs> lad. So paid. What? Why? Don't talk with a Fleming main bell. Where did I I'm speak? a Lancashire lad. No, 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 Subject. Let's just, what would you like to ask Liz? What would you like to ask Bernard? Well, Bernard, you've never oh, got well, any... excuse my butt, darling. Better than his front. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think you've ever particularly gone down in Wigan, have you? Gone down in Wigan? Yeah, I mean, you've been in Wigan you... once or twice, but you've never gone down, have you? No, you must be joking. No. Oh, you must be joking. Oh, no, you're coming on. Do they? So, the fact that I said Bernard who... I mean, my daughter laughed a lot, but it is quite a compliment to us. It's not meant to be in any way derogatory at all. Yes. Oh. <laughs> You've let me well, down, well, now. I'll tell you, you won't go out on air, you know that, don't you? No, of course. <laughs> I'll still be a racist. You never Mr. know. Lowell. Well, oh, I don't like racist won't. very much, and I agree with Dorothy that well, you know, you're you a hugely talented it? comedian. Yeah. And he's yes. got great... Te- Why don't you promise tonight that you'll never tell another racist joke? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Promise me, yeah. yeah. I couldn't do that. Man. Why not? Because that's letting him off the hook. I tell, great, I tell gags about everybody and everything. Bernard, why you... shouldn't... Why should you tell me I can, can't tell gags about other racists? Bernard, who do you vote for now Hitler's dead? <laughs> We played roll out the barrel when you came on. We're scraping the barrel with you, on. <laughs> You're a it's good co- comedian, it's Bernard. You, it's costing you a lot of money to scrape that barrel, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you tell the truth. You don't know how much Richard's I bet I'm on more than him. Anyway. <laughs> I bet I'm on more than him. <laughs> I believe, bet you believe not. Believe me. Oh, and I, you won't believe it. <laughs> Because I don't work for nothing, my friend. You're a workaholic, aren't you? I am a workaholic, and I've got plenty of money. Have you? Yep, loads of it. Really? Yeah, more than you. More what? than you, your own show. What do you, what do you spend? Businesses everywhere. What do you spend? Shares around? in Cause... bird's eye, frozen foods, ICI, <laughs> Sainsbury's. You spend it British all on Calicom. food. <laughs> British Telecom. Shares everywhere. When are you, get, when are you going to stop? Never. Never. But why don't Keep you on cha- going. Why don't you change your act? Oh, you couldn't change it. How would you change it? I'm looking for new material all the time. What? Irish fella sat in a pub, his mobile phone rang, he said, how do you know I was here? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we'd love that gag. You know, I'd love that gag. Hugh Scully for the Antiques Roadshow. He'd love that gag, you just told. There you go, there you go again. Oh, I one's the best, se- I can buy and sell you, Scully. Could you? They're all waiting for me to die, see what I'll leave. That, it's not to see what you leave, Bernard. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's not why okay. they're waiting. Yeah, I'm the peace on earth. This poor bugger will be working when he's under and 
Now it's what would you like to ask? Well, Bernard probably won't remember this, but a long time ago now, about 30 years to the day actually, I'd been drinking in Manchester with some of my mates and the driver had been arrested by the police for drunken driving and so we had to thumb our way back to Rochdale. <laughs> and we were thumbing our way and who should stop but this great big long Jaguar with Bernard in it. And Bernard didn't live in Rochdale but he took us all the way back to our homes and back again. Sorry. What I want to ask Bernard is, A, does he still drive a Jaguar and B, would he have picked me up if it had been black? <laughs> I remember that. I, I remember that little uh, version, and you've gone smaller. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're absolutely right. Okay, you? I've gone smaller. You should, on, the you should be. Now. Will you welcome old Big Mouth himself, <laughs> Bernard Murray? <laughs> Lovely. I've a couple of rest in here. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could hear this, it's going to be funny. <laughs> oh, like a trainee corpse, how are you? Hi, Pi, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. Excellent. That's what it stays that way. I'm a, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a fan of yours. Definitely a fan of yours. Hello, the one you in that film, Psycho, sat in a rocket chair. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what are you doing with all the body stockings on? Lovely to have you on, Ben. I know, <laughs> I know really, darling. I you know. know long since you were on telly. Do you know, what was the last thing I saw you in? Oh, was it Words in Action? Words in Action. Entertaining all the top brass in the police, enjoying myself. <laughs> and uh, it was a wonderful night. We raised £50,000 for charity. No, that's very good. And, uh, and uh, it's about a great atmosphere. Isn't it? it? Great atmosphere. They're a great crowd, aren't What's the name of the next series? Two feet in the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. I don't believe it. Always one foot out. Always one foot out. How's your embassy club doing? Marvellous, marvellous. Packed out every night. We have, we have loads of money for charity there too as well. Forty years we've been open this year. Same pianist. Do you think she's got the job now? <laughs> <laughs> well, do you know something, Bernard? I came to your club once, the embassy. Did you? And you know, I laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. Yeah. It was the night it burnt down, you know, the fire. <laughs> that was the best night I liked, you know. Oh, it was a wonderful night. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. I enjoyed that immensely. <laughs> Did you really? Lost a solid gold Amiga watch, 6,000 pounds of it. Did you? Rummaging all night with the firemen. They said, I don't think we're going to find this watch, but I thought, I'm bleeding sure you're not. <laughs> oh, I did it was a lovely fire. It was a lovely fire. <laughs> That's a great I'll fire. tell you how to start a good fire. Get a, 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 a lively rat. Yeah. And dip a, a rag in a cloth in petrol and tie it to its tail. <laughs> Light it and shove it through the door. And you've got about 16 fires going in about two minutes. <laughs> the rat gets cremated and you don't know how it started. <laughs> now the Irish come lower down than me. They tried it with a toy toys and... <laughs> on it, boots. Only burn the front door down. <laughs> 60, 68 quid, 68 quid for half a door, that's all they got. 170,000 pound, mate. Really? It was the best night. I'm glad you laughed because I laughed. <laughs> we now, all 60 laughed. suits I lost in that fight. Did you? 60 suits. Colonel Gaddafi for me says, sorry, Bernard, wrong embassy. <laughs> You know, I'll tell you something now. This 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 room has happy memories for me. We did the wheel tappers from here, and the comedians from here, 
and Mr. Nice Guy at my own show with the uh, the three degrees and uh, Acker Bilk and Sid Lawrence Orchestra. And that was 1970. Happy days, I tell you. Wonderful days. Oh, man. And all, I, all I said was bollocks and never seen the place again. <laughs> You could say it today without being mad. <laughs> you couldn't say anything like that in them days, what you know. Nobody had bullets. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> Are you all right, girls? Yeah. Was it cold in the ground this morning? <laughs> <laughs> say hello to Roy, obviously, when you get back. <laughs> I like your advert, the old PG chips, eh? Oh, nice that. Putting all them monkeys out of work. You see the thing, yeah. It said, it said I wanted a baboon. Oh, it's a monkey. That's you. <laughs> Are you there? Are you there? The monkey's on PG tips. Now, think about something. Here. Think about it. Hit me with your best punch, you know. Hit me with your best shot. Yeah. Bollocks, if you like. Richard. <laughs> you show bollocks, if you like. Anything at all. But Love your it. show. Love your show. Give <laughs> All the way from London, brother. <laughs> Only little bit of me, it's dead easy for me. Why do you think we asked you? <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> Invite me any time. Invite me any time. You're, you know, you're Irish, you know, aren't you? When you leave, we all leave. <laughs> Don't leave no carry bags. Don't leave no carry bags under the table, you know. <laughs> You've got to be very careful, you? The thing about you, the thing about you, Bernard, is what we all think. He's a very good comedian, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, there's no doubt about that. They wouldn't, <laughs> would, wouldn't pay me the money they do. And for, 50 years I've been in the business, isn't In your it? own club, aren't you? Years. Years. <laughs> no, Las Vegas, Welcome Man Performances, London Palladium, 1972 with all the comics. But the thing about you is, Bernard, there's no getting away from it. You're a very good comedian, but... Yeah. Nice you, of you say that. You are racist, aren't you, Ben? Yes. <laughs> See, some people I like, some people I don't. But then I like, I like. And then I don't like, I don't like. But you upset people, Ben, at yes. your comedy. Yes. Well, what do you think of that? It don't upset me, it upsets them. <laughs> but don't you feel bad that you upset people? Oh, no. No, no. No, no. But the thing is... There's worse things to get upset about. What, like what? smacking them out. 